हेलो एवरीवन दिस क्वेश्चन केम फॉर फोर मार्क्स इन दिस दिसंबर 2018 केमिकल साइंसेस एग्जामिनेशन एंड इट इज़ फ्रॉम द इनऑर्गेनिक सेक्शन फ्रॉम द इनऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म एंड यू नो इट इज़ अ बेस्ड ऑन द सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच यू माइट हैव बीन स्टडिंग लाइक इनर्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स लेबाइल कॉम्प्लेक्स जस्ट लाइक दैट सो इन द क्वेश्चन द एग्जामिनर हैज़ बीन हैज़ गिवन दिस फोर सेट्स this is given as set a in which we have four compounds which is your main group compounds aluminum phosphorus sulfur and silicon and the and in the set b this is from the coordination chemistry so you have been given this magnesium calcium strontium and this barium so you have to tell that in which compound the, which will show the slowest ligand exchange in set a as well as in set b so it is a very easy question which is based on the z effective the force of attraction between the metal and the ligand same goes for this set a so what you have to do is first of all whenever you see these type of questions just calculate the oxidation state so if i let's say if i have this alf6 three negative so the oxidation state of aluminum is how much this is fluorine is minus 1 so this is this will become minus 3 plus 6 and this is plus 3 so we have plus 3 charge on the aluminum all right similarly you can calculate for this p f6 negative so it will come out plus 5 and we have calculated for this here plus 3 similarly for sf6 we will get plus 6 and here so we have plus 4 now the concept is higher the oxidation state higher will be the z effective so here is the force of attraction between this atom central metal central atom and the ligands so it will be very difficult for the ligands to dissociate and participate in the ligand exchange mechanism all right very basic concept no rocket science so here is the oxidation state higher is the z effective and lesser labile the complex so in this compound there will be the slowest ligand exchange rate all right so you can check in the option sf6 here this is the only option where we have this sf6 so even though you don't know for the set b then also you can calculate so second is the correct answer are you getting my point now one more thing let's say in the set b here if you look at the oxidation state is similar for all the four compounds so the question arises how you will solve for the set b again it is very easy if you can see here we have first of all in the group we have magnesium are you getting my point then we have calcium then we have strontium then we have barium so from this top to bottom the size of the metal is increasing so the distance of this ligand as to a ligand from this metal central atom is increasing as we go from the top to bottom so it is very obvious that if the distance between the central atom and the ligand increases then it will be more prone to the breaking of the ligand and it will be easily participate in the ex ligand exchange mechanism are you getting my point i am telling one more time as we go from this top to bottom the size the size of this central atom is increasing all right so what will happen the distance of the ligand from this central atom will increase and it it will be very easy for the ligand to get dissociate and part, participate in the ligand exchange mechanism so if you look at the, so the fastest rate of the ligand exchange will be maximum in this in this barium and the slowest in the magnesium so the slowest will be in magnesium and for the set a we have already calculated so these type of questions generally come let's say you know let's say we can have a chromium complex and copper complex these chromium two positive and copper two positive so these whenever you see these two metal ions then the this this ligand exchange rate will be the highest why because you know there is a john teller distortion in both the compounds so that will be responsible for the higher exchange ligand mechanism so this is also a csir question it has already come so you know it's a very important concept 
so these type of questions are very easy just apply the basics of chemistry and you will get your answer so for the next time thank you and please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends bye